Good morning, A Bird Freedom Fam. Here we are out on the range here in Lake Havasu. And for this White Wednesday, I want to go ahead and I want to add to the CZP10C review video why I like it. But so I had a couple people ask me about my P10C, which is right here in two tone, unloaded and safe, pointed down range. And one of the things that I like about them that I did not put in the first video is the size of the trigger guard. Even with my gloves, I have no problem getting inside of that trigger guard. And these are the mechanics where impact. So they got a little bit of a fat finger and some protection to them. And as you see, I have no problem getting inside of that trigger guard. On the other hand, on my customers, P10C optics ready. Very excited about this because of the fact that I do like the P10C. I'll be out here this morning with my customer's P10C optics ready with this Holosun 47C to go ahead and sight in this optic at 5, 7, and 10 yards after I did the mounting so that when the customer gets the firearm, he knows that he can at least hit the broad side of a barn. He'll have to adjust, of course, for himself. But Voodoo Tactical Gloves, a little bit smaller, but once again, same pistol basically just optics ready but very comfortable even when shooting with gloves um, so great updates like to do a continuation to more of these videos when there's products that are more advanced so now for everybody that loves the czp 10 c of course as you see you can also get it optics ready and another big announcement for the channel i'm very excited about this one ridgepoint armory a local ammo manufacturer here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. We'll be bringing product into the shop tomorrow in bulk. These are not reloads of used brass and any used components. And as a kicker, the ammo today for today's test fire, as well as today's little video, is sponsored, of course, by Ridgepoint Armory. I'm very excited to bring Ridge and his product into the shop. And enough of that. Let's uh, go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and break this try to learn how to edit as I go along and uh, we can do a little shooting today I'm gonna go ahead and get my ears safety always catch you in a minute and here we go first three round group going down range sighting in the customer's optic Bob I do appreciate the fact that you not only purchased this pistol from me but was good enough to go ahead and come back to me and allow me to mount your optic and get familiar with another branch of the P10C PT was just a little bit ago, so getting in a little bit of that Jocka Hydrate. Ears are added, eyes are added, downrange, first three round group. Got to get all them fingers up there. And uh, let's get it. So we move down range, get a look at the target. First group was low. I kinked that one. I caught myself actually looking at the sights through the optic. Shot a second group, spread them out, catching myself looking at the sights again. Now we'll go back. We'll make an adjustment in our angles to put it inside of this diamond right here so that the customer has a good baseline for his adjustments. So let's get a little look see at the target. We'll go ahead and uh, prop it up in the wind here. And when we slow down, after our initial round of adjustments down here, so we can find the increments the optic wants to move, we come up here and we slow things down. Sight, 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 press, 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 so that we're concentrating on the words and the actions at the same time. That's a nice ragged hole drill. That's the one where I realized that I had slowed myself down too much and concentrated too hard. Went ahead and reset. And that's when I put that one right there. So now, pretty much, 
for a basic zero so that the customer can go to the range, effectively hit paper, and be able to see where he's at. That's not bad. I'll go ahead and shoot another three round group just to confirm that I am in fact working inside of this diamond and uh, we'll call it gold after that. Customer sight in is complete. So now I can switch over to my pistol. My pistol is going to have a different trigger feel because mine came to me used. She's a rescue. And so the round count is considerably higher. Therefore, the tension on the trigger has dropped. Um, normal wear in, like your Glocks, uh, average about a pound after about 500 rounds, anywhere from half to a pound. Um, but what I want to try now is something that I saw DJ Shipley doing with GBR's group, because there's a lot of knowledge out there, but if you see something and you don't try it, you never know if it works or not. So now, with my pistol, I'm not going to use my sights. What I am going to do, however, is I'm going to use the center of the back plate on the slide because I saw a video where he was mentioning using that in place of the sights because that would be actually center of bore at the rear of the pistol. Um, I believe he said putting a dot back there. I don't have a paint pen with me to put a dot, but I like to try different things. So now I'm going to actually aim off the back plate and I'm just doing it at about five yards. I just want to see how this works because any new training technique you can learn that enhances your library of knowledge is always great. So back plate, back plate, back plate, back plate, back plate, back plate. I can't even see the center of the target. And back plate, not sights. Back plate, try to pie it off, get it in the middle. And let's uh let's walk down there together and have a little look. Cause uh that was actually kind of interesting. You can't see the sights when you concentrate on the on the back plate. But so I got one here in the dark green and I got two in the black. So I think that's really cool because the premise, if I remember correctly, was orientating the pistol to the target. So just another Another piece of knowledge, I actually like that. If for some reason the sights broke on my pistol, I know that at five yards, seven yards, I can get that good fist size shot group, center mass, and uh, that's what would count. Let's, uh, just because I love this pistol, let's just go ahead and let's do another group of three off of just the back plate, no sight use. So I got the pistol nice and high, so I can't, the sights are literally lined up on the very top of the green, but when I'm looking at the back plate, the back plate is completely covering the black. So now everything is dependent upon me to get a half-assed decent follow-through, but that's, uh, that's definitely a, a strange feeling. So I shot two three round groups using the center of the back plate going off of hopefully if I got this quoted correctly, if not I apologize, but just using the back plate, imagining a dot in the center. So basically doing like a howitzer direct fire shoot where the guys in the artillery battery would actually drop the howitzer down, pie off the center of the bore, and then fire direct fire like they were firing FPF or final protective fire. So I should have six holes in the target. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and all inside the center green. So, like I said, just another way to expand your knowledge base. Now, before I head into work, because, well, got to do the work to pay the bills, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stretch my pistol out a little bit more, get in, get this edited. Hopefully it comes out good, and uh, everybody stay safe, and if you get a chance to try something like this, Go ahead and give it a whirl.